Hey, how you doing? Thanks for joining me. In this video, I'm going to discuss how to calculate the branch circuit size for a capacitor. Uh, the first thing we need to do, taking a look at a capacitor like this, we have a 120 volt, 60 hertz capacitor with 1,061 microfarads. So first thing we need to do is figure out what is the uh, capacitive reactance of this capacitor so we can use it in Ohm's law. So we're going to take our XC equals 1 over 2 pi. We're dealing with 60 hertz. And in order to work with this, I need to convert that microfarads into farads times 10 to the negative 6 divided by 1,000, however you want to do it. Either way, this is what we're left with. Okay. After we punch that into our calculators, we should end up with a capacitive reactance of 2.5 ohms. With this number, I can use Ohm's law, which we have 120 volts divided by our capacitive reactants, we should get the rated current of our capacitor. Should be somewhere around 48 amps. Now for any calculations that you're going to be doing with this capacitor, whether it's in a bank, this is the number that you're going to be using, okay, is this rated current of the capacitor. So once we've got this 48 amps, the code tells us that we can not be less than 135% of the rating of the current of the capacitor. Okay, that means whenever we do our calculation, it cannot be less than that number. So let's apply that 135%. We take the rated current of our capacitor, which is 48 amps times 1.35, which is our 135% expressed in a decimal form. We should end up with a minimum ampacity of 64.8 amps. Now this number here is the absolute minimum that the ampacity of our conductor can be for our capacitor. Okay, so let's say we're working with a 75 degree termination on our capacitor and our overcurrent device. Okay, when I go to table two in our code, in our 75 degree column, we're gonna end up choosing a number six, which is good for, has an ampacity of 65 amps. I can exceed the 135%. Code tells me I cannot be less than 135%. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to calculate the overcurrent device for this capacitor as well. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.